What is up, heroes? This is Manate Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward Blind. In the last episode, a lot happened. We made our way through the queue room and then had the chance to talk with Akane, and, well, now we're going back in time to talk to her, I guess? I, I don't really know, but I'm really eerie, or like, <laughs> curious, eager, uh, to find out. So, let's hop back here into the AB room past. Before the whole nonary game began. This is what plays in the very beginning of the game. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Darn it. Feels like my head's gonna explode. Wait. Where the heck am I? Looks like an elevator, but... No. This is one of the AB rooms. Ah, who the heck are you? And what the heck's an AB room? Darn. I guess you did lose your memory after all. Interesting. Does this mean Phi has her memories of us having memories from other timelines and stuff? Memory? Memory. Now he's got it back. I remember! You're Phi! She grinned. When is this? Check your bracelet. It's a red pair. BP is three. Mine's the same. Does this mean this is the beginning of the game? We've gone back to when we first woke up in the AB room? No, not quite. I think we woke up a little earlier this time. It's nice that Phi also has her memories. How do you know? Push the buttons on the side of your bracelet. Two hours. Fifteen minutes. We didn't wake up this long before the primary doors opened last time. I think we're about an hour early, so we might be able to catch Dio in the act and save Akane. Wait a minute. If you're right... Yeah. Akane might still be alive. We got back before Dio killed her. I think. Then... Right. We're here for one reason. To stop her from getting killed. Exactly. Let's move. We need to get out of here. Fast. Don't need to tell me twice. Let's go. Oh my goodness, we actually have to resolve the very first room. That's actually hilarious. I wonder if there's a timer. Probably not. But it's obviously been a minute. Um, let's see here. We don't need to look there. This is our past, remember? That means we're just repeating history. You see what I'm getting at? The password for the safe should be the same one we got earlier. Exactly. Now hurry up and open it. Oh, that actually makes a lot of sense. You need to remember the password for the safe. We figured it out last time. Interesting. Alright, well, let's go back to the password for the AB room. Or, no, that's right, we thought it was the elevator. I wonder what happens if we do the hidden file password. Ah. Oh, wait, it was supposed to be Sun, wasn't it? I wonder what happens. Okay, of course there's nothing inside. Okay, I opened it. No! That's the wrong password. We need the other one to get the key. That's hilarious. Alright, alright, we'll do that other password. It'd be funny if it was like, wrong end. You screwed up. Gotta go back in time again. It's what? Sun, sun, moon. There we go. 
There, it's open. Good work. Hurry up and grab the cracker. Cracker? Ah, uh, darn, I, I meant key. How the heck? Just shut up and do it. Alright, key obtained. Where did we place the key? I think it was here, right? Alright, let's just put this key in here. For God's sake, just do it already. No need to yell. Alright, good. Looks like that worked. Ready, Fi? What do you think? I know, I know. I don't need to ask you every time, right? Then why the heck are you asking? Hurry up and... Right, right. I'm going, I'm going. Ten, nine, eight, one, done. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. Fi's like, every single time, you delay it so much. Hey, you push the button. Bite me, you were taking too long. We're on a schedule here. Ugh. Quickest solve yet. We out here speed running. Fi and I climbed up through the hatch and out onto the top of the AV room. It took us only a moment to spot them. Akane! Behind her was Dio. He was moving quickly and quietly, a knife glinting in his right hand. Crap. There was no time to yell to her. There was no time to count down from ten either, apparently. I scrambled down from the top of the AB room. Fi wasn't following me. When I looked back, she was still standing on the roof. Fi, what the heck are you doing? Get down here and... Before I could finish, she moved. She ran across the roof, launched herself into the air. I knew it. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was an epic animation. Run, jump, and then dive, kick! Right into Dio. What the? He's fine. Just unconscious. I bent down and held my fingers in front of his mouth. He was still breathing. I don't think he saw me. He probably has no idea what happened to him. Guy went down like a sack of potatoes. He had it coming. I heard footsteps come to a stop right in front of us. I looked up. So you came. This is so, like, next level. I've been waiting for you. You're here to hear the rest, right? That's right, because at this point she's already recorded that second part of the story and... Wait. Just wait a minute. What the heck is your deal? How can you be so calm? If we hadn't shown up just now, you... you... Have been stabbed in the heart by this young man and died. Yes. Although that reminds me, I haven't thanked you yet. Thank you very much. I very much appreciate you saving me. That... what? Hold on. How do you know about being stabbed by Dio? Are you an esper too? Yes. Indeed I am. I am able to jump through time just like you. Then what the heck were you thinking? If you knew he was going to stab you, why were you going to let him do it? Because I had to. You what? Think back. Why are you here? If I hadn't been killed by Dio, no one else would have been murdered. Consequently, your own abilities would never have manifested. I did explain, didn't I? The purpose of the AB project was to send the two of you to the past. Or your minds, at least. In order for that to happen, some death was necessary. 
脳の情報処理速度が限界を超えて加速されることがあります danger, 要するに頭の回転が速くなりわずか1秒の間に永遠とも思えるような時間の流れを経験するということです quickly, しかし単にそれを早めるだけでは時間を飛び越えることはできません Unfortunately, that in itself isn't enough to send oneself through time. The amplitude of the consciousness is simply too small. It In order to increase the amplitude, we need to slow down the brain before the increase happens. Is that why Radical Six is involved? It's a little like a slingshot. You pull back on the rubber band and then let go. たまりにたまったポテンシャルは運動エネルギーへと変換され、The potential energy you stored in the band is released and converted into kinetic energy. 玉を前方に向かって打ち出すことになります。That's what fires the bullet out of the slingshot. ここで言う前方とは未来のこととは限りません。Now, while a slingshot can only fire in one direction, your mind isn't similarly limited. この例えはスリングショットの弾丸が。When the bullet of your consciousness is fired from the slingshot of your brain, it travels past the three dimensional world and into the four dimensional one. From that perspective, time is no longer fixed. In other words, you can travel to the future, the past, whenever you like. Your consciousness has been released from the three dimensional cage. In order for that to happen, I had to infect you with Radical Six. Whoa, what? We're infected with Radical Six? Yes. Don't you remember, Sigma? Luna が別の歴史で言っていたこと Luna should have told you about it in another timeline. いい are, are you sure? Infecting all these people with such a horrible disease. Every single one of you has been infected. Well, apart from Luna, of course. Unfortunately, it was necessary. We needed to slow your minds in order to store up your potential energy. Then we provided a dire situation that would accelerate your processing speed. The result is what you are now experiencing. Your consciousness now occupies four dimensional space time. Even that, however, wasn't enough time. You had the ability to travel, but your memories could easily be lost during the trip. This plan was completely unrealistic. You had to be able to retain everything you had to succeed, you had to be able to retain everything you learned in each reality. So, you had to be able to retain everything you learned in each reality. So, you had to be able to retain everything you learned in each reality. With each jump, your ability to remember improved. Eventually, you would be able to retain everything. That is why we made you play the AB game. That was why you had to select different chromatic doors. 
あなたたちにより多くのジャンプを行っていただこう。By forcing specific choices, we could cause you to make more jumps, and hence the, the wide web of the flowchart. I get it. I think I finally understand. Well, okay, there are a lot of things I don't understand, but all of what you've just told me makes sense. I mean, what's kind of interesting is ultimately this was an experiment, right?、Um, Akane, as somebody who's experienced this phenomenon, had a theory with regards to how it worked and set up an immense experiment to actually validate that theory, right? You did all of this so that Fi and I could jump through four dimensional space with our memories intact, right? Yes. But why did you need us to do that? People have died for this. I mean, let's count how many different ways people died murder, antimatter explosions, suicide. I've died. So has Fi. So have you. He's right. So, why would you do all this? What does it matter that Fi and I jump through time? Haven't I told you? Death was unavoidable. You were all destined to die. Sacrifices had to be made for the sake of the project. I already know all that. What I'm asking you is why? What is so darn important that it's worth all of this? Ah.、Uh, I'm sure you'll figure it out eventually. What? Just when is eventually? In a future not very far from now. <laughs> BS. That's not good enough. Why can't you tell us now? Instead of answering, Akane knelt down next to Dio and picked his knife up off the floor. I'm going to keep this with me. Don't change the subject. But it's almost time. What are you talking about? We've got plenty of time. No. In a few moments, you'll return to the original timeline. What? This is the way it has to be. Don't fight it. Lagomorph. Lagomorph? What? That's Zero Junior's name, Lagomorph? Yes. Lagomorph? You call him Zero Junior. His official designation is Lagomorph. Lagomorph, this is in order. Unlock my bracelet. Compliance. Now everything is in place. I have put the bracelet on to Dio. All we have to do is place his body in the fifth AB room, the second one from the right. That's the one Quark is in, right? Correct. I will move him. I will also put your bodies back into the third AB room. Once that's done, I will reset its puzzle to an unsolved state. Why do you need to do all that? To recreate the history that you remember. Your consciousness is about to leave your body and return to the future. Wait, what? Oh, I see. So we're essentially going to play through the Nonary game now with Akane being alive. And everything's been sort of reset to be the same. I don't know how we can forcibly have our consciousnesses, I guess, like leave our body, right?、Um, but now we're essentially gonna go back to the future where we have the ability to meet with Akane after getting through the key room, all that jazz. 
そうして空っぽになった肉体という器に今度は別の意識が飛び込んでくることに。Your body will be emptied and your other consciousness will jump back in. その時にあなた方の体が第三 AD ルームの中に存在しないと大変困ったことになってしまいます。If your bodies aren't back in the third AD room by then, it would be bad. I wonder how she knows this, right? Like when, I guess we're prior to a previous timeline, like when, what determines when another consciousness jumps into the other one? Which one has priority over the other one? We're being forcibly pushed out of our bodies at this point, right? I don't know. It's not easy to go here to visit it. No, it's the only direction you could request to you. So you're saying some version of us is going to wake up in that room and repeat the same history again? Well, I guess this could actually be our second or third time. So you could do this. You are exactly correct. これをお渡ししておきましょう。Lastly, I'm going to leave this with you. She paused and pulled something out of her pocket. It was a small key attached to a string. なくさないようにシグマさんの足首に誘いつけておきますね。I'll tie it under your ankle so that you won't lose it. All right, Sigma. What's it say on here? To free ego, Eris. To free ego, Eris. That's um. It's like where you were, I was, or something like that, right?、Um, which makes significant more sense given、um, given the whole time travel shenanigans, right? And that unlocks the thing in the bee garden. It's Latin. It means what you are, I was. What I am, you will be. Interesting. Yes. What am I supposed to do with it? It will help you meet someone who's very important. What? Go. Return to the future. You won't be alone. I will be at your side, watching over you. Now hurry. Wait. I still. And off we go. To be continued. Exciting. A new destination has been added to the flowchart in the future, presumably. Okay, okay, cool stuff. Nothing else new elsewhere, but holy cow, this flowchart. Alright, I guess we'll jump to here. AB game round three. Okay. So now we wake up in the infirmary? Oh, looks like you're awake. Did we like pass out when we went to the past, or is this the infirmary? Why are we here? Do you know what happened at the AB gate? Kay and I went back to the infirmary, but we waited and waited, and the two of you never returned. So we went to the warehouse to check on you. We found you passed out in front of the AB rooms. K and I hurried back here with you. I looked over at Fi and met her eyes. Do you remember what happened just now? You mean what happened a long time ago? Yeah. You got him pretty good, huh? <laughs> yeah, I remember all right. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Quark? What am I, chopped liver? Alice! 
Back among the conscious and not psychotic, huh? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Grandpa told me what you did. Yeah, we found both doses of Excelivir. Thanks for finding the medicine for us. No problem. All in a day's work. Although, I wouldn't mind a little swimsuit action. Oh my god, Sigma. Really grabbing at straws here, aren't you? Hey, I wasn't talking to Quark. That was an offer for Alice. Not really my point. Whatever, forget about that. Now that you guys are awake, all we've got to do is open the number 9 door. Huh? What are you talking about? Look at your bracelet. Um, it, it says 10. I have 10 BP. I've got 15 BP? That means I got 6 more points while I was out. Oh, they just kept playing the AV game over and over while they were passed out? But how? You've been asleep for more than two hours. We've played the AV game three times. Three times? Yes. Of course, the color and group assignments were shuffled around each time. But no matter who voted, everyone chose ally. Lovely. And now all of us have enough to leave. Oh, that's great news. But we gotta stop by the garden first. I was stunned. How had everyone cooperated long enough to raise all of our BP past 9? Was it because Akane hadn't been killed? Without a death to start things off, maybe we'd been less suspicious of one another. Or could the bombs have had something to do with it? We'd all joined forces against Dio, and Fi and I had been able to disarm all of them. All of us had banded together against a common enemy and overcome a tremendous threat. Perhaps that had strengthened our bond. Which, I had to admit, would be somewhat ironic. After all, Dio had planted the bombs that forced us all to work together against him. This must have been what Akane was talking about. Haven't I told you? Death was unavoidable. Sacrifices had to be made for the sake of the project. Come on, let's go! Let's open the door and get out of here! Wait. What about him? After some discussion, we decided to leave Dio behind. Alice was the only holdout. She'd complained about wanting to take him back to her superiors, but after I mentioned they'd come back to investigate after we escaped and deal with Dio then, she reluctantly complied. Alright, let's get going. Stop by the garden though first, don't forget! The key, Sigma, the key! Everybody ready? I'm gonna open it. Yes, just get on with it. Everyone else swallowed and nodded. I grabbed the lever and pulled it down. But the garden! Maybe there wasn't actually anything there, but I don't know. The number nine door has been opened. It will remain open for nine seconds. All right, everybody, let's move. Wow, so we all get out, except for Dio. 
But, uh, we finally move on. I didn't need to tell them twice. The room inside was clearly a loading elevator. It looked sort of like a large plate on top of a huge pedestal. We ran to the center of the plate and turned around. The number nine door stood wide open. Two, one, zero. The number nine door is closing. And now it's closed. The number nine door has closed. This ends the Nonary game. Thank you for your participation. As the game is over, all doors other than the number nine door have been unlocked. Yada yada yada. Looks like we did it. Yeah. We should keep moving. And Luna of all of all the participants, right? The golem is actually getting to leave too. Which is pretty exciting. Beyond the door was a wide hallway that ended in a very solid wall. To the left we found a very familiar looking door. We pushed it open and went in. Pressure Exchange Chamber. You know what this place is? Yeah, sort of. This whole facility is pressurized, apparently. I think the idea is to keep the air outside, and consequently the virus from getting inside. That means that if we want to go out, we have to decompress so we match the outside air pressure. This room here is where you prepare for going into the actual pressure exchange room. You see all those suits along the wall? I figure we need to put those on and head to the decompression room downstairs. Whoa, hold on a minute. You're saying the air outside is full of that horrible virus? <laughs> now it's gonna break it to him. Yeah, we're actually all already infected. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Of course, according to Akane, we were all already infected with Radical 6, so the whole room seemed a little pointless. Why? How did all this happen? Did, did they... No. That's not possible. We've come this far. We can't turn back now. Let's go outside. There's no way to know what's really going on until we do. Alright. No one else objected. We all donned the protective suits and headed downstairs to the decompression room. As soon as we were all inside, the process began. Through my helmet, I could hear the soft hiss of air being sucked out of the room. We stood there for several minutes, waiting for the process to finish. At last it did, and we heard the door begin to open. Beyond it was another decompression chamber. We repeated the process two more times before we reached the final door and opened it. The dead, bleak landscape wasn't a surprise for me. I had seen it before, in another timeline. 
The others hadn't, however, and although I couldn't see their faces through the, vi the visors of their helmets, I heard more than a few gasps over the radio. For a few long moments, we just stood there, astonished. Where the heck are we? The desert, I guess? I figured that out, I mean which one? I don't know, but... I think I know what day it is. Look at the moon. It's red, right? That means today's the total lunar eclipse. So? Remember the astronomy magazine in the lounge? Well, the next eclipse like this was going to be on December 31st, 2028. So... Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. Are you suggesting we were sleeping for a week after we were abducted? I think so. Wherever we were, must have been far away from any city. The air was clearer than I'd ever seen it. And the stars. The sky was full of them. More stars than I'd ever seen in my life. I could even spot the hazy arm of the Milky Way. But the most striking feature was the moon. It was blood red and massive. Much bigger, in fact, than I remembered it being. Uh-oh, are we in the Majora's Mask timeline? <laughs> it's slowly coming to the Earth. Then, as I watched, a black spot began to move across its surface. It was hard to see details, but it looked like circular. The spot continued to move across the moon, heading for the right edge. Well, what's that? The moon. Well, the moon's shadow, actually. The moon's shadow? I frowned. That didn't make any sense. Zero told me to stay quiet. I think he was worried I'd spilled the beans on his operation. What? He said if I didn't toe the line, he wouldn't just kill me, he'd kill Quark too. And I agreed, like an idiot, and brought Quark with me. Just, just so I could see her. Such an idiot. So, that being the case, who are you, Ted Yoji? Might as well start with this. I meant what I said before. That up there is the moon's shadow. What the heck are you saying? What's gonna be crazy is he's gonna be like, this is a lunar eclipse, but we are actually on the moon. And that's like Earth or something. Think about it. If that's the moon's shadow, then what's it falling on? That's Earth? Yeah. It's not the red moon you get from a lunar eclipse. Then again, this isn't a lunar eclipse, it's a solar eclipse. Anybody in the black spot down there is looking up at the moon covering the sun. What? No. No way! If that's the Earth, then where the heck are we? The moon, of course. <laughs> this is the lunar surface. We were just inside a moon base. No way. No, you've got to be lying. How do you expect us to believe that? This can't be the moon. Yeah. That's pretty ridiculous. Besides, if this was the moon, how do you explain the gravity? The moon only has one-sixth of the Earth's gravity. 
So what's this? She picked up a rock and dropped it. See? That looked perfectly normal. Yes, it looked that way. Luna? You were right about the gravity, in a way. I was one of the people who knew this wasn't Earth. Well, I suppose I'm not people, but if we're being honest, but... Excuse me, what? Please, just listen. Alice, you were infected with Radical Six. Then we gave you the Accelivir, which cured you. The Radical Six isn't completely gone, though. Some of its symptoms stick around for a while. Oh my goodness, I also just realized Accelivir, like Accelerate? I think that's intentional. What symptoms? Um, well... Radical 6 can slow down your brain's processing speed by the root of 1 6. It can take a while for your brain to get back up to speed. Every one of us has been infected. In other words, all of our brains have been processing information at a much lower speed. If you evaluated the root of 1.6, you'll get a number close to 0 0.408. That means our brains are running at something slightly less than half speed. As you said before, the moon's gravity is about one-sixth that of Earth. The time that it takes for an object to fall is inversely proportional to the square root of the gravitational acceleration. Since the gravity is lower on the moon, that means the time increases. I guess that's a little technical. Let me give you an example. Say you drop an apple from a height of 4.9 meters. It'll take approximately one second to hit the ground. On the moon, however, that time would be 1 second times root 6, which would be approximately 2.45 seconds. I used 4.9 meters because it matches up with the acceleration of gravity nicely, but it could be anything. The gravity constant is, well, a constant. You could drop something from 10 centimeters or 10 meters and it would be the same. Does that make sense? So, now we've established that on the moon things fall root 6 times slower than they do on Earth. That being the case, what would happen if someone's brain slowed down by root 1 6? To them, 2.45 seconds would feel like 1 second, 4.9 seconds would feel like 2. But it's not hypothetical. That's what's been happening to every one of us. 
Wait. You're saying that's the reason we didn't notice the weaker gravity? Are you sure you didn't notice anything? <laughs> that's hilarious. Like, Fi's ability to jump, like, super crazy high is, you know, obviously now related to the gravity being low, not her having some special power or something like that, right? Let's see, were there any other examples of things like that happening? Where things seem to be or inexplicably lighter than anticipated? Hmm... I can't think of too much else, admittedly. Think back. Or like K jumping out of the AB room? I don't know. Huh? You and Sigma and Fi said something about it in the lounge. What did we say in the lounge? About how you felt weird. It's kind of like my body isn't really mine. I'm sort of floating, like that. It seemed insane, but what Luna said made sense. In fact, it explained Fi's apparently superhuman strength quite well. What's interesting is that... Well, actually no, that must have been normal at that point. Wait. This is crazy. That can't possibly be Earth out there. Look at it. I've seen photos of Earth, and it's blue and green and beautiful. That thing is just red. Ah. Ah, before we get into that, I should probably tell you something. This isn't New Year's Eve in 2028. Today is January 27th. In 29? No. Don't tell me, 30? Still no. Then just what year is this? It's 74. 2074. No. That's insane. That would mean we were abducted more than 45 years ago. I don't blame you if you don't believe me. But it's the truth. How can you be sure? It's not that hard. Quark and I left Earth on January 23rd, 2074. Solar eclipses are easy to predict. We've known there'd be one on the 27th for a long time. That's just science. Nobody can change that. But why is the Earth red? That's a long story. About 45 years ago, on April 13th, 2029, there were 18 annihilation... What? Reactors operating in various parts of the world. On the 13th, all 18 of them went up, all at the same time. The explosion was about 180,000 times as powerful as the atom bomb they dropped on Hiroshima. What? Why? I suppose it started a few months before that. The government had a test site for a future Mars mission out in the middle of Nevada. 
ネバダ砂漠に建設された火星探査用シミュレーション施設で一つの事故が起こった。On December 31st, 2028, there was an accident. いや、事件と言うべきかもしれんな。Well, accident doesn't quite convey the right sense of the thing. その施設からラジカル6が漏洩したんじゃよ。The point is, Radical 6 claimed its first victims there, then escaped. It didn't take it long for it to spread to the rest of the world. Like Luna explained, the virus slows your brain down. But eventually, it also makes you kill yourself. Ah, so this explains this image from the beginning of the game. I was wondering when we'd find out why there were so many crosses and flames. Pretty soon, the bodies started to pile up. Some people would take a dive off a building or shoot themselves in the head. You know, the classics. But for some, it was poison or fire or asphyxiation or the noose. Plenty of people jumped in front of trains or cars. One pilot on a passenger airline drove his plane into the ground. Most forms of transportation ground to a halt pretty fast. That meant food couldn't get distributed, and thousands of people who weren't even infected died from starvation. Everywhere you went, there were just piles of corpses, covered in flies and rats and crows. I don't know what hell's like, but I imagine it's a lot like that. After a while, people who managed to avoid getting infected started trying to get in touch with one another. They got a couple, or they got a hold of some radios and organized a couple meetings. There was only one thing to discuss, of course. How could they get rid of Radical Six? The answer, they decided, was purification. They figured they could just roast the surface of the Earth, and that'd kill the virus off for good. On April 13th, in 2029, they put their plan into effect. That plan was to detonate all 18 annihilation reactors. Now, the truth is that's mostly just rumor. Nobody really knows what happened. But I've got my own theories. I think that the bombers had already been infected. And when they died, they took billions with them. The ultimate, if I die, you're coming with me gesture, I suppose. I bet you money they'd all lost it long before they got to the reactors. Killing most of the world, no matter how bad things had gotten, was not a sane plan. Even if it wasn't directly responsible, Radical Six killed most of the people on Earth. Anyway, why it happened isn't that important. Point is, it happened. You ever heard of nuclear winter? Well, that's basically what we got. The explosions threw a ton of crap up into the stratosphere, where it joined up with smoke and ash from all the fires. 
It blotted out the sun for seven years. Plants withered and animals died by the millions. The few humans who were left uh, banded together to survive. They were rough times. Eventually they were over though. The sky cleared and the sun came back. Plants started blooming again and the animals that hadn't died out completely began to reappear. Things weren't quite back to normal though. It's been 45 years now, but there's still quite a bit of dust and ash in the air. That's what you're seeing. You know why a sunset's red? Well, this is the same thing. Blue and green light have short wavelengths, and they scatter when they run into debris in the air. Red light, on the other hand, has a longer wavelength, which means it'll get a lot farther when the air is dirty. So there you are. The earth looks red because that's the only color of light that can make it through the atmosphere. I was speechless. What could I possibly say? There was no reason for Temyoji to lie to us. So we were standing on the moon, looking at the Earth. It was 2074, but why? Why were we there? Why were we then? To like go back and try to figure something out and change something, you know, 45 years in the past? Is that the whole process, you know, behind the AB project? I was so lost in thought I barely noticed Phi's approach. Hey, Sigma. I figured, I think I figured something out. I think I figured something out too. I think I actually understand why the AB project exists, right? I think we finally know, and that's why Phi is approaching us, why we've been given the ability to go back in time with memories. Why we've, why so much has been done and sacrificed to foster this ability in individuals like myself and Phi. Although I don't know why specifically Phi and Sigma have been chosen. That's still a mystery. Um, and I think it's going to be to go back in time, not just, you know, hours ago, not just days ago, but go back 45, 50 years ago and do something to prevent this from ever happening. That's pretty epic, but it's still yet to be confirmed. However, we're going to learn more about that in the next episode. I wasn't sure if this is going to be the last episode or not, so I let it run a bit longer, but it seems like there's still more for us to do in this game. So I hope you guys are looking forward to it just as much as I am. But until the next episode, this is Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete.